Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And before I get into the video, I might be looking down here instead of up here because I can see myself down there. And I can't see myself up here. Well, I can't, but I can see myself better down here than up here. Okay, whatever. Another fun fact, or just fact in general, is that I am actually going to be filming on my birthday. I've had two quarantine birthdays. I've literally said this in every video that I filmed today. So I'm getting kind of sick of saying it, but I'm still going to say it just so you guys know. I'm going to be filming on March 11th. 11th. But yeah, it's going to be super fun. You guys can see what my life is on a daily. Actually, not on a daily. It's actually your birthday. But you guys can see what it is like on a quarantine birthday. But yeah, I don't think anyone's coming over. I think just my sister and my mom. But that's it. Because I do live with my grandma. People who know the story know the story. But people who don't, then you don't. I mean, whatever. But <laughs> but yeah, I do live with my grandma. And my mom's coming and my sister's coming. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, and my friend from gymnastics. But that's it. So, yeah. So, I'm going to actually be filming that day. But now we're just going to get into this video. So, I'm actually going to be doing a book review on the novel, Since You've Been Gone, by Morgan Matson. This is what the front looks like. I literally love the front. It's, like, literally great. I want some ice cream. Every time I look at it, I want some ice cream. And that's the back. Sorry, my ring light's kind of being, like, a butt cheek. I'm going to turn it a little just so you can see there we go now we got to turn it back because you still got to see be able to see me and then yeah that's what it looks like bro what okay i think you could see it though but yeah so basically what happens in this book i'll just read you the little thing right here so it says it was sloan who yanked emily out of her shell and made her life 100 percent interesting but right before what should have been the most epic summer, Sloan just disappeared. All she leaves behind is a to-do to list. On it, 13 Sloan-inspired tasks that Emily would normally never try. But what, but what if they could bring her best friend back? Apple picking at night? Okay, easy enough. Dance until dawn? Sure, why not? Kiss a stranger? Um, <laughs> Emily not ha now has this unexpected summer and the help of Frank Potter totally unexpected to check things off Sloan's list who knows what you'll find go skinny dipping go skinny dipping <laughs> wait what <laughs> that's great <laughs> she has she has some jokes okay um so I, this is the list I'll read you what the list says it says it wasn't I wasn't sure what it meant but it was something it was from Sloan Sloan had sent me a list number one kiss a stranger number two go skinny dipping do you hear my nephew? He's literally, like, laughing. Okay, <laughs> if you guys hear background noise, it's in my house, so. And I'm not home alone, so don't think it's something creepy. I'm really not. So, um, number three is steal something. Number four is break something. Number five is Penelope. No one knows what that means until you actually read the book. Number six. <laughs> number six is ride a Duran horse. Yeah, cow poke. I don't know what that means. Number seven is 55 South Avenue, Axe for Mona. Sorry, my sister opened the door. Okay, the next one is, number eight is the blacklist dress and somewhere to wear it. Number nine, dance until dawn. Dance until dawn. Number 10, share some secrets in the dark. Number 11, hug a Jamie. Number 12, apple picking at night. And number 13, under sleep under the stars. So, in this book, um, what's her name again? I totally forgot her name. I think it was Emily. Yeah, Emily, she, like, literally her friend is just, like, disappears, and she doesn't know what happened, and basically, uh, uh, she finds a list, and then she just goes on to do it, and then, because she thinks it'll lead her back to her best friend, and that's basically what happens, and she's basically going through it, and she meets new people, like, a lot of new people, like, she has a whole new friend group, and it's pretty crazy, she actually loses, like, one of them at the end, but that's okay, I actually like the character that she's not friends with anymore, but, because she met her through a breakup, and how she was cheating and stuff, like, her friend was cheating on her with her boyfriend, and that's basically what Emily did. So you just have to read the book. You just have to read the book. And in the end, she actually finds Slow Ann, so that's good. You guys should just read it. It's really a great book. These book reviews are getting shorter and shorter by every video. So, yeah. Um, I think that's it. I might just do a book review for this one, too. This is the last book I'm doing a book review of for today. Um, yeah. I might not. 
I'll just do this one later. I just finished reading this book today. It was so good. Let me read that book. That book, I'm going to read it a... Hmm. I'm going to rate it a 4.0 out of 5. Um, I think it was really good. I think it could have been better. I, put, I bet you, I look, there could have been a plot twist. There could have been a plot twist in there or something. A little more romance. I mean, the romance she had in there was pretty great, but... You know how I am with romance. I'm a sucker for romance. I literally will read any romance book you hand me. So, I'm actually going to be doing book reviews of all those books over there. I've never done a book review from those books over there. I also have a shelf up here, like, full of books. Yeah, I'm a bookworm. But <laughs> that's it for this video, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if you like this video. And don't forget that I'm actually going to be filming on my birthday. Um... It's going to come out on my birthday, March 11th, so you guys will know exactly, like, the exact date of my birthday. Because I know some YouTubers that don't, like, um, I don't know how to explain it. They don't actually just put it out the day on their birthday. They put it out, like, three days later. So everybody's thinking their birthday is, like, what, March 13th or something? Like, no. But, okay. <laughs> That's the end of this book, this, <laughs> this book review. Thanks for watching. Bye.